Right, this is a quick walk around video for a Lexus RX 400 hybrid. This is the SE model with navigation, finished in this really lovely uh, grey colour with a full black leather interior. 56 plate car with 62,000 miles on the clock. Just go around the vehicle for you. Very clean at the front, just a couple of minor marks on the front bumper there, but hardly anything. It's, uh, so it's been kept very, very nicely. All the lenses really clean and good. Bonnet is very, very clean. Hardly a stone chip of any note in there at all. And then to come down the near side of the car first. Very clean in the panel work, all very good. Front wing on the near side, very clean. It's got a full set of um, very high quality tyres on the car. Bridgestone on the front, done up on the back, so clearly someone hasn't skimped on it. Alloys are generally good. The only place they're bad, which is they, where they always go on these, is between the wheel nuts. So you've got a little bit of um, pickle, pickling on the um, paintwork there. But given that they're original, most of them are far, far worse in this kind of age, even with my, this mileage. This one's very, very good indeed. Rear wheel, again, very nice. But as I said, just on the centre there, you can just see it. Let's come around the angle here really really clean and crisp in the panel with this car i always have the cars running it's only about two degrees today so there's a bit of condensation as the engine's running that's quite normal and then just to come down the near side of the vehicle try and get the condensation out of the way it's so still today there's hardly a breath of air so the exhaust doesn't go anywhere at all again very clean in the panels rear alloy again very good just that a little bit of uh, pickling between the spokes that I mentioned and then continuing down the panel work all really good there was a couple of really soft dents I noticed just a couple there so I was just touched on the um, I wouldn't touch them with a barge pole but you know got to respect the fact the car's now come up to 12 years old and is in lovely condition and then fine alloy as with the rest but externally a really nice original car uh, in very very good condition Coming into the boot area now, nice big boots on these cars, beautifully, beautifully finished, as you'd expect, but it really looks almost as new in the back here. It's hardly been used at all. All the original tools, everything there, but even in between the little slots there, it's all been kept really clean and tidy. And then if you pop the buttons here and here, you get this extra storage space. It also gives you access to dropping the spare wheel down just there. Uh, but all very clean and tidy. And what's a really nice touch is this little recess here and on this side here you can pop the um, parcel shelf in if you're not using it because normally you've got to throw them in the back of your garage somewhere uh, but nice touch by Lexus as you'd expect. That's right, nearly walked away without doing it. Obviously electric tailgate on the car all working exactly as it should. Let's come into the back now Rear door card and the one on the other side look almost as new again. It, this car is one of the very, very nicest you'll see. Hardly a mark inside the car. There is one which I will show you in due course, uh, but really you'd have to be very, very hard on the car to criticize it. And the one there again, really clean, and the leather work is all but as new in the back here. It is absolutely beautiful. Coming to the front, driver's door card again, really clean, so I just put my fingers on there. Look at that. Put all the switches, even the paintwork around there, which can quite often rub away with sort of rings and bracelets, all are nice. Full set of original Lexus mats in the car, of course. And the leatherwork on the driver's seat is absolutely amazing. Even the bolsters, even with low mileage, sliding in and out over the last 12 years, you'd expect it to put more wear on the seat than that, but it really is fantastic. And the passenger seat there, is in a stunning condition as well. So sat inside the car now, engine's running, it has been all the way through. Passenger door card there, again, just looks like new. I mean, it really is very hard to describe on a um, uh, video sometimes. When you look inside the plastics on certain cars, they, you know, they shine them up with sort of silicon sprays. There is none on the dashboard here. That's exactly as it came to me and just looks absolutely as new. So you can see there, sat nav working absolutely perfectly. Pop the car into reverse there, and you've got a lovely clear parking camera. 
but all working absolutely beautifully and kept in beautiful condition as well. Uh, one amendment to the following row test video, I do apologise, got rather carried away when I was doing it. Um, the multimedia pack on these, or navigation pack as they call it, doesn't include uh, the Mark Levinson stereo, which I mentioned in the following video, so please ignore that. Um, the standard stereo is actually very good, so uh, that's by the by. Uh, but really, really nice. So the down at the centre console here, we've got these huge storage areas. Again, all been kept really nicely inside them as well. There's the only marks I can see just along there. Looks like something just rubbed against it. Um, but that, I mean, that really is it. That is the sum total of the, anywhere inside the car that I can see. Coming across the dashboard there, hopefully you can see 62,633 miles. And apart from a low warning, uh, low fuel light warning light, absolutely no lights on the dashboard at all. Um, steering wheel looks and feels as new in at hand as well it really is a wonderful example I'd be very very surprised if we could find one as clean as this one and that's certainly this sort of age just quickly show you quite often overlooked we've got the original owner's manual pack with car and navigation manual and lock and wheel nuts are here and present with this car so finally just to come under the engine bay all in lovely orders you'd expect from lexus wonderful wonderful units the hybrid system is brilliant you'll probably hear the engine cut in and out during the video as it's meant to do um, always been maintained by lexus they've done all the servicing and less than 10,000 miles ago they did a major service which hopefully you can see there including the timing belt was changed at the uh, last service by lexus guildford now uh, we've just serviced the vehicle so literally nothing needs doing in terms of servicing for another year or so what will follow this video will be a road test of this very car Right then, this is a quick road test video, and this is for a Lexus RX 400 Hybrid, and it's the SE version. This particular car is registered GU56YAY, and mileage is just 62,657 miles. The reason for the road test, as I say in all of them, very simple indeed, we just want customers to see the cars that we're selling in operation prior to coming to see us. Uh, that way if there are any issues with the vehicle, I can and I will and I do relay them back to you. It's the point of the video, in essence. Uh, we've been, as many people have unfortunately, been on the receiving end of going to see cars to buy them, uh, only to find out that there's a you know, clear and fundamental fault which you know, we should be told about and so should you. Uh, road tests also done on the same quiet roads, local to our business, uh, so hopefully it'll be representative of what you should feel yourself. Um, so starting with the car, engine, obviously you turn the key, it doesn't really, uh, there's no ignition as such, it just sort of whirs the hybrid into motion and the en engine will kick in at the time of its choosing. Um, all working absolutely perfectly, uh, brilliant powertrain on these cars. If you haven't driven a hybrid before, uh, certainly a Lexus one, um, you don't know what you're missing, you know, by, certainly by comparison to a turbo diesel it's just amazingly refined and smooth in operation a, a wonderful system uh, there's absolutely no warning lights on the dashboard here just a low fuel lights illuminated currently um, I've been driving the car now for roughly an hour and the temperature gauge is running at just under a half which is exactly where it should be on a Lexus car um, so engine which is obviously a V6 Lexus engine beautifully smooth in operation you know if you put your foot down it's not a harsh, you don't get a kind of a, a annoying kind of diesel growl and bellow, you get a proper sounding engine, it's just smooth and turbine like in the way it goes about its business, um, very 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 nice to use. Engine then drives through into the automatic CVT Lexus gearbox, um, you know the, the combination of that with the engine with the Synergy system and the hybrid is a an engineering marvel it really is because it is all so smooth and so seamless in the way it go, goes about its business um, CVTs are great gearboxes in my opinion when they're in big engine cars because it it means the, the gearbox isn't having to work so hard um, this you put your foot down there's just no gear change it is absolutely smooth it's like someone in the distance on the horizon pulling you in on an elastic band it's just got this wonderful seamlessness to it which I keep going on about but it's the best adjective I can put put towards it um, but in terms of the operation of the car which and they, you've been critical of it I can't fault it. it it drives absolutely beautifully and I've 
owned many of these cars to, to be able to judge it by. Brakes on the car, there's a lovely solid brake pedal. There's no pulsing or vibrations coming back through the brake pedal of the vehicle. Um, it's all in very good order indeed there as well. What I look for on these road tests is any kind of free play or slack or kind of looseness through the steering or the suspension of the vehicle, just to see if there's any kind of age related wear issues on the car. I can't find again. It's, it all feels incredibly tight and taut. Um, steering's well weighted, um, very positive. Suits the chassis perfectly. You know, it's not a sports car, I'm not gonna pretend it is, but it actually goes through corners very nicely indeed. It kind of glides through um, and has kind of a, a posture and an attitude sort of you know, becoming the kind of the car it is, I guess. Um, the suspension is brilliant. It's so smooth, so cosseting. Uh, but as I said, you don't get huge amounts of body um, roll unless you really are pushing on, which you know, it isn't that kind of car, I'm going to be brutally honest with you, or if it is um, that sort of car you're after, then it probably isn't the car for you, in all honesty. That's, that's the long and the short of it. What it does, it does beautifully well, and it just feels solid as a rock on the road. It really does. Um, also very, very, very quiet in here. Um, Clearly that could be ruined very quickly if you had a sort of damaged sunroof seal or windscreen seal or someone had accidentally damaged the door seal getting in and out. But it's you know it's as tomb quiet as that you'd expect them to be. Um, looking around inside the car, um, you know, again a beautifully, beautifully built car, as Lexus always are, and, and I'm talking real world build quality many years down the line as this one is, you know, irrespective of mileage. Um, it feels you know tight, taut everything's working as it should this one as you know from the advert benefits from having the multimedia package upgrade so we've got the sat nav system which is all working beautifully um, mark levinson stereo which if you love your music you'll absolutely um, revel in it's a, it's a fantastic sound system it really is um, and then obviously dual zone climate control system working perfectly heated seats working perfectly um, you know it all works fantastically well um, what the videos can't kind of impart, of course, is just, you know, the quality of the switch gear is quite extraordinary. Every single switch you press has a really quality of actuation and, um, and build and integrity and everything else that's attached to it, which is so sorely lacking in some of its competitors. Um, and that kind of brings me on to the final bit, I guess, really. I'm mean, sorry, carry on around the dashboard, you know, the dash itself, you know, it's the, the binnacle, dead simple you've got, you've got a big information display with in, in the middle of a um, dominating speedo there then you've got your power um, measure on the left hand side or dial rather and then your more conventional sort of temperature and fuel gauges on the right hand side but it all just looks and feels fantastic and bear in mind it's literally just been delivered um, and we've not cleaned it yet so it, it you know and it feels in lovely 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 condition in here it really does uh, it's a gem of a car, this one. Um, but yeah, coming back to you know what I was going to say, the no, it's natural. It's natural competitors in this sector and this age will be clearly things like Mercedes NL, BMW X5, Audi Q7. That's pretty much it, I guess. Um, or maybe Volvo um, XC90. But the reality is, and I'll be brutally honest, at this age and mileage of car, nothing nothing is as well built or as reliable as this car and it's been sort of proven over you know, many 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 years um, but it's just the refinement if you drove one of the other cars as good as they are to drive and they are very good and uh, they don't have this effortlessness about it this serenity about the way they drive um, it's the best way I can describe it and um, these are wonderful vehicles you know BMW X5 down this road is almost comical you know they crash and bang into even the lightest bumps the mercedes ml is an appalling vehicle on this by on this sort of age and um, it feels like a an old ox cart going down the road it's very primitive and the q7s is just gargantuan of course you know which you, you might need but um, they say they just don't drive in anything like the same way as these things do um so the point of the video of course was to pick up any issues um, not for want of trying, I can't find anything of any obvious note to re uh, report back to you. 
Um, it's going to go through the workshops and be serviced, um, but I'm not expecting to find too much on this one. If I've missed anything on the video, obviously don't hesitate, do give me a call.